I'm really excited to talk about our uh, SGIN capabilities and especially in the IoT. We have uh, many customers uh, of us who are uh, in the IoT. If you look at from any IoT uh, solution, it, it has four workloads. It, it, you need to cover rapid ingestion, you need to talk about uh, take care of real-time alerts, real-time reporting, and then predictive analytics. You don't have one solution which is going to bring all these together. So there are silos and there's a lot of data movement. Here in this, um, the solution we put together in, in SGIN, it has one place you, you can take care of all these four uh, workloads together. We have uh, deployed this in with uh, several of our customers. Why don't you join us in the strata so we can really demonstrate what our solution is all about. a functional server and dashboard that can take IoT sensor data and store it into SkinDB, as well as provide real-time alerts and analytics on the data. But in the real world, IoT devices produce large amounts of data, and many business owners demand real-time monitoring and quickly generate reports whenever those devices fail. That's why we are using SkinDB, as it is powerful enough to support rapid and massive data ingestion, and is efficient in providing real-time and predictive analytics on the data. Instead of just a collection of sensors, which is what we had before, we wanted to show an important use case for the for this solution. That's why we built this robotic car. To demonstrate how the transportation industry can utilize SkinDB to store and analyze the massive amounts of data being generated by smart cars and trains. So uh, to build this car, we first started out with an Arduino smart robot kit for the base, the wheels, and some of the basic sensors. We then attached a Raspberry Pi here on top and affixed it with numerous other sensors, such as a photoresistor, which you can see over here, a temperature and humidity sensor, which you can see over here, and even also a gyroscope, which is right here. We connected this wire between the Raspberry Pi and the Arduino so it can communicate through serial connection. We also then programmed the card for it to send the sensor data through the MQTT protocol to be stored in SkinDB and to follow black lines on the table with the two infrared sensors, sensors on the back. We then attached a portable charger on the back of the car, so the Raspberry Pi can uh, run without being a, uh, plugged into a wall socket. If you're interested in learning more about our IoT solutions and meeting members of the Eskin team, visit us at Strata and Hadoop World in New York City on September 28th to 30th.